Good morning to all of you. Sai Ram. Today we'll continue with the second part of the lesson Earthquake in Assam. Hope you are ready with your notebook and pen. Let's start. With only a towel wrapped around my waist, I ran out into the open to the front of the house but found only my wife there the whole front of the house was blocked by the fallen section of thatch from the roof through this i broke my way under the iron railings and extricated the others the bearer had pluckily borne the weight of the whole thatched roof section on his back as it had slithered down and in this way saved the aya and the children from being crushed beneath it in this paragraph the author describes how his grandfather was able to escape from their house in spite of all the hurdles and was able to extricate what's the meaning of extricate freed or rescued all the members of his family that is grandmother grandfather's two kids and the aya aya means the maid the bearer had pluckily borne the weight of the whole thatch roof section on his back now here who is the bearer bearer is the grandfather he had pluckily means bravely borne the weight of the roof that had come down due to the earthquake on his back as it slithered down here slithered means gliding unsteadily now you can use this phrase in this way we slithered down a snowy mountain track after the main shock of the earthquake had passed minor shocks took place at regular intervals of 5 minutes or so all through the night but during that first shake up the town of shillong was reduced to ruin and rubble everything made of masonry was brought to the ground government house the post office the jail all tumbled down when the jail fell the prisoners in, instead of making their escape sat huddled on the road waiting for the superintendent to come to their aid in this paragraph the author is saying that after the main shock of the earthquake there were minor tremors at regular intervals all through the night the whole town of shillong was reduced to a rubble ruin and rubble here means severely damaged now rubble is normally used as debris for filling big holes in construction works so here it means the whole city was very badly damaged everything made of masonry that means construction whatever was constructed was damaged like government house post office jail all were severely damaged 
imagine if you were caught up in such a situation what will you do even the prisoners were not ready to flee they were scared and sat huddled together meaning sat closely to each other on the road waiting for the superintendent to help them now huddled can be you can use this word in a sentence they huddled together for warmth the ground began to heave and shake wrote a young girl in a newspaper called the englishman i stayed on my bicycle for a second and then fell off and got up and tried to run staggering about from side to side of the road to my left i saw great clouds of dust which i afterwards discovered to be houses falling and the earth slipping from the sides of the hills to my right i saw the small dam at the end of the lake torn asunder and the water rushing out the wooden bridge across the lake break into two and the sides of the lake falling in and at my feet the ground cracking and opening i was wild with fear and i and didn't know which way to turn in this paragraph the author describes a vivid description from an article in the newspaper the english man this newspaper later came to be known as the statesman now what this girl is telling about her experiences i stayed on my bicycle for a second and then fell off and got up and tried to run staggering about from side to side of the road now staggering means walking unsteadily and then let us see what she says the young editor reports houses falling earth slipping from the sides of the hills now you can understand if you recall some of the images recently from the flood situation in kerala such was the condition then a small dam at the end of the lake torn asunder a year asunder means apart the dam was torn apart and then the water rushed out the lake rose up like a mountain and then totally disappeared leaving only a swamp of red mud not a house was left standing people were rushing about wives looking for husbands parents looking for children not knowing whether their loved ones were alive or dead a crowd of people had collected on the cricket ground which was considered the safest place but grandfather and the family took shelter in a small shop on the road outside his house the shop was a rickety wooden structure which had always looked as though it would fall down in a strong wind but it withstood the earthquake in this paragraph we can visualize the scary images 
that is lake rose up like a mountain and then totally disappeared leaving all mud behind people running here and there looking for their family members not sure whether they are dead or alive most of them had gathered at the cricket ground because you are sure nothing is going to fall on you so grandfather took shelter in a rickety shop meaning which is likely to collapse which likely withstood the earthquake this is the case of irony that is all huge constructions were severely damaged whereas this rickety shop withstood the earthquake and then the rain came and it poured this was extraordinary because before the earthquake there wasn't a cloud to be seen but 5 minutes after the shock shillong was enveloped in cloud and mist the shock was felt for more than 100 miles on the assam bengal railway a train was overturned at shamshernagar another was derailed at mantola over 1000 people lost their lives in the chirapunji hills and in other areas too the death toll was heavy in this paragraph something extraordinary event happened the rain started pouring whereas before the earthquake there wasn't a single cloud to be seen shillong was engulfed in cloud and mist the tremors of the earthquake was felt for more than 100 miles one train got overturned other got derailed more than 1000 people lost their lives in chirapunji hills all in all there were huge loss of property and people the brahmaputra burst its banks and many cultivators were drowned in the flood a tiger was found drowned and in north bhagalpur where the earthquake had started two elephants sat down in the bazaar and refused to get up until the following morning some more scenes of devastation the river brahmaputra burst its bank and cultivators were drowned in the flood a tiger got drowned at north bhagalpur area two elephants were not ready to move from the bazaar area it shows how they were scared the earthquake did not distinguish between human beings animals and non human beings everything was destroyed over a hundred men who were at work in shillong's government printing press were caught in the building when it collapsed and though the men of a gurkha regiment did splendid rescue work only a few were brought out alive one of those killed in shillong was mr Mac Cabe a British official grandfather described the ruins of Mr Mac Cabe's house 
हियर अ बेड पोस्ट देर अ स्वर्ड अ ब्रोकन डेस्क और चेयर अ बिट ऑफ टोन कापिट अ वेल नोन हैट विथ इट्स इंडियन सिविल सर्विस कलर्स बैटर्ड बुक्स ऑल स्पीकिंग रेमिनेसेंसेस ऑफ द मैन वी मोन दिस सीन इज हार्ट ब्रेकिंग मोर देन हंड्रेड पीपल गेटिंग ट्रैप्ड इन द गवर्नमेंट्स प्रिंटिंग प्रेस बिल्डिंग एंड इवन दो द गुरखा रेजिमेंट that this army was called for help only a few came alive one of those killed in this incident was a british official named mr mackabe whose house was totally battered here battered means damaged all speaking reminiscences pronunciation is reminiscences where the letter s is silent meaning they are all reminders of macabes that is bed post sword broken desk and chair carpet torn hat etc while most houses collapsed where they stood government house it seems fell backwards the church was a mass of red stones in ugly disorder the organ was a tortured wreck a few days later the family with other refugees made their way to calcutta to stay with friends or relatives it was a slow tedious journey with many interruptions for the roads and railway lines had been badly damaged and passengers had often to be transported in trolleys grandfather was rather struck at the stoicism displayed by an assistant engineer at one station a telegram was handed to the engineer informing him that his bungalow had been destroyed beastly nuisance he observed with an aggrieved air I have seen its cave in during a storm but this is the first time it has played me such a trick on account of an earthquake in this paragraph we come to calcutta which is now known as kolkata was then the capital of british india here everything was damaged now the word stoicism means uncomplaining behavior how does one react when one has lost everything in the world shock and disbelief just stand still that is called stoicism aggrieved aggrieved here means feeling resentful at having unfairly treated so the engineer reacts when he hears the news and he feels resentful now this can be used in a sentence aggrieved can be used in a sentence like they were aggrieved at the outcome that means they felt bad at the outcome the family got to calcutta to find the inhabitants of the capital 
in a state of panic for they too had felt the quake and were expecting it to recur the damage in calcutta was slight compared to the devastation elsewhere but nerves were on edge and people slept in the open or in carriages the damage in calcutta was less as compared to elsewhere but people were still cautious as they feared the earthquake may strike again people slept in the open or in carriages no place to go they slept wherever they can and felt safe so nerves were on edge means they were scared so why did they sleep in carriages because they felt that they are safe outside cracks and fissures had appeared in a number of old buildings and grandfather was among the many who were worried at the proposal to fire a salute of 60 guns on jubilee day that is the diamond jubilee of queen victoria they felt the gunfire would bring down a number of shaky buildings obviously grandfather did not wish to be caught in his bath a second time however queen victoria was not to be deprived of her salute the guns were duly fired and calcutta remained standing it was the diamond jubilee that is 68th birthday of queen victoria at calcutta and the local administration was planning to fire a salute of 60 guns grandfather was scared as that might bring down some of the shaky buildings in that area and grandfather did not wish to be caught in his bath again however the guns were duly fired and calcutta remained standing means there were no further destruction at calcutta children now let us have the value points of the story you can jot down the points this will help you to answer the questions children will have reference to context the crows all took wing wheeling wildly overhead and cawing loudly why were the crows wheeling wildly they were doing so because they could sense the natural disaster according to the writer why did they do so they did so because they could sense the approach of an earthquake how were the other animals and birds reacting the chickens flapped in circles the dogs were jumping and ran out with their tails between their legs so with this children we end today's session i hope you have understood the lesson thank you